the core of happiness are relations with other people. And although government can do some things to improve relations among people, it can't do a whole lot. Uh, there's very, there's only limited things that government can do to provide strong uh, uh, marriages or better relations with your children or happier aff affiliations with organizations that you enjoy and so forth. That's really an individual matter. <clears throat> and there are some other things that obviously bear on happiness that the government uh, doesn't seem able to do. For example, going to war in Vietnam, which doesn't seem to have served any lasting purpose for the United States, uh, must have produced incalculable unhappiness, especially if you count the effects on the Vietnamese, along with those uh, on our treasury and uh, on the people who are wounded or suffer from post-traumatic syndrome. But we don't seem to be able to eliminate entirely um, unwise, uh, at least wars that appear in retrospect uh, not to be worth the havoc that they caused. Uh, obviously, happiness would increase if you could do away with layoffs, uh, but we don't know how to do that either. But there are some things that government should be able to do. Uh, clearly, for example, the recent uh, extension of health care coverage uh, relieves an enormous source of anxiety for the people who are now covered. Uh, if you have to live day to day with the feeling that if you got sick or if your children got sick, you don't have the money to send them to a doctor, that has to be a cause of, of ongoing anxiety uh, that um, uh, could uh, be much alleviated by, uh, by health care legislation. Also, I mentioned some conditions of uh, health that do produce lasting unhappiness, chronic pain, sleep disorders, uh, clinical depression, all of those, if you look at it, are seriously undertreated and un underemphasized uh, in our uh, healthcare system today. Uh, just to give you one example, uh, millions of people suffer from clinical depression at some point in their lives, usually at several points in their lives. Uh, but if you talk to experts, they will tell you as a rule of thumb that of every six people who are clinically depressed, one is treated correctly, two are treated incorrectly, and three are not treated at all. Uh, so although we may never achieve perfection, there are certainly things government could do to improve upon those rather dismal uh, averages. Mm -hmm.